Hello, we're here with jewelry designers Jason and Donna uh, Brown. Donna DeConte Brown with the, uh, what's left of their booth. So it's been a great, great market for you. It certainly has, yes. Yeah, and, and this is, and it's your first one. It is our first one. Um, I the first market I ever attended was in 1992, and it was as a student at the Institute of American Indian Arts. I was 17. I was fresh out of my parents' house, and came to town. And the market was happening, and I haven't been back to a market since. And I haven't been back to Santa Fe since 1995. So it's really? been 21 years since I've been in town. Wow. Yes. And how's it gone? Um, it's incredible. I mean, just in um, the people that we met and seeing people like people that I went to school with that I haven't seen in 20 something wow. years. And yeah, just a beautiful experience. I got to meet my jewelry idol. Um, right, just a, a, a really? few moments ago. Who was it? Yeah, um, Jesse Manani. Oh, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yep. Yeah. So, he came by the booth. Yes, he did. And he, he purchased uh, some earrings from us, so that's really? quite an honor yeah. for him Actually, to buy. The, the earrings in the end. Yeah, he bought these jellyfish really? earrings. So for him to buy a piece of art jewelry, that yeah. is quite that's an honor. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And what are you finding collectors kind of going towards on this weekend? Um, I they really like. Um, yeah, they, they they like the stuff that's really unique because of our region, you know, like our designs from Maine and our materials, our, our native materials, the, the ash and the metal work, our stones. We also, um, Supreme Court Justice uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg came by yesterday and purchased a very significant necklace from us, which is really cool. Yeah, um, Instagram and Facebook did if you want to check oh, it out, yeah, so that was that's really incredible. cool too, yeah, yeah, so I didn't realize who it was until her daughter said, oh, Justice Ginsburg would like to purchase this, and then I kind of like snapped wow. out of it, yeah, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that was what I mean. He really does it. So, would you mind telling the story again about uh, about the ad in the magazine? Oh, yeah. So, um, being our first time here at Indian Market, we were, uh, you know, a little concerned that people wouldn't really know who we were or what we were about. So, um, you know, that really helped us in our decision to place an ad in your publication. And um, we really wanted to make an impact. And myself working in advertising and stuff, I know the power of a full page ad versus, you know, a smaller ad. And I know you know budgets are involved and things like that, but we just went for it, and I'm so glad that we did it. And um, because it really was, you know, I mean, you can't really say, okay, I spent this on the ad, and now I can prove that I got it back because it's branding and it's imaging and it's getting your name out there. And so I think if you go into it saying, okay, I spent this, I need to get this and I need to be able to prove that that ad got it back to me. Um, I don't think that's so much as important as if you hear that, you know, people are saying your name and you're creating a buzz and some friends of ours were at a, a breakfast and there were collectors there and the collectors were talking about us and people that we never met and we're new here. So I'm guessing they probably saw the ad and they were talking about us, you know, so that was pretty cool to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you. Yeah. <laughs>